All right, hello everyone. We're back setting up our guide for hole number nine. And you can see, you know, similarly between these two clubs, I gonna be a ton of difference. You can use either one. And I do recommend probably going with one or the other. Having that little bit of extra distance will definitely help you uh, for this hole, no doubt about it. So let me just run through those. Got a Firefly card, thankfully. Been looking for those. So let me go and reset up my adjustment. What I'll usually do for over power shot, you know, I'm going to change my slider to maybe 20, 25%. It is kind of shooting to a different lower target. And what this is going to allow me to do is just kind of get a nice visual as to where to expect the ball to drive. Now you're going to also see me play a slice shot. Make sure my rotation is turned on. Looks like it is. You know, there's my grid. And with, with my rotation, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, go into landscape mode. For this one, you don't need it, but it does help. So um, you can still pull off my drive. You might just slightly mo modify the ring adjustment. But, um, you know, this hook shot has the tendency, I've got it up over 500 yards. Um, if I can get, you know, a good enough wind it's going to really allow you to get down there. And here you can see I'm only getting 9.4. That is going to kind of reduce the amount that I can drive it just slightly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the right edge of my bullseye as my setup. So basically I'm kind of offsetting the wind and just kind of estimating off the right of the bullseye. And what this is going to allow me to do is to move less range. So there I'm going to go one full target. And I'm just going to go an extra six rings from that. And we're just going to kind of go at it with this. Aside from that, I'm going to go very max with my power. Now, I'm not always going to go max, but in this case, I am. So you can see that I only got a 9.4 wind, which greatly, uh, you know, kind of decreased the amount that I was going to drive. I have got this up over 500 yards. It's all going to be kind of dependent upon that second. It's so funny to see... You know me get out drive there but um you know uh, pretty much across the board uh you know my opponent got very lucky there if you could see the way that the ball landed it was within a yard of clipping the rough so it's very very aggressive and what that hook shot does is it kind of takes away the risk of that happening and uh you know even with this epoch five yesterday i was able to get it up into 500 some yards with the drive and, uh, you know, if the wind gets up there very high, you might need to, uh, you know, start to take off just a little bit of power. But you can see kind of the first and second bounce I got weren't the best. So it's going to put myself back here just a little bit. And being back is probably just going to, the difference is going to be I'm going to be very close to max club and maybe need to just slightly, slightly go into power. And what I've been doing with my setup, it's kind of about one. So this is kind of where I'm looking at. And you can see it's about three rings up. Let me reset this. Got to get that cataclysm. I forgot to pack that. 10.7, 6.7 rings or so. And kind of looking at here. So there's five rings. I'm just going to add another... 1.7 or so and just a little bit of overpower so you can see I very minimally overpowered that it looks like I didn't quite put enough on it uh, bad break did not have very good luck with that uh, with that hole today so that drive has been going, you know, a lot farther. That was the worst possible win that I could have got. So it really put me back there as far as possible. So I really got a bad break there. Well, let me see if I can't just pitch this in for you guys. It should be, you know, very straightforward pitch. When you're here, the only thing that you'll want to do is kind of just creep it onto the front of the green and just play enough break to be kind of on the edge of the cup. 
there won't be very much that needs to be done here. It's just going to come down to perfect ball and being very centered with the way that you put that to guide. And there you can see I'm a little early. It's going to cost me the make. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to actually end up playing the shootout, unfortunately, which is the worst because I used the berserker ball too. And this should have guaranteed the eagle. This is the first time that I've missed the eagle. So it is a little disappointing to see. Um, but something that, you know, if it was tournament time, I'm going to play that second shot just a little bit more safe. I knew I wasn't, uh, you know, I didn't need to win today or anything. So with that in mind, um, you know, I wasn't too worried. I was trying to get the aggressive approach, which would potentially still give you guys a hole out so you could see kind of an albatross. Here you can see the complications that are going to kind of arise from uh, needing to play this. And what I'll usually do, play pretty close to my max number. Might come in just slightly. 5.7 rings we'll try. Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> it looks like it landed short for whatever reason. <sighs> Why did that land short? That's not even where I was setting up, so it doesn't make sense that it would land by the shadows. Because <clears throat> the alignment looked pretty good. It just landed short. So probably going to lose this one. It's going to be a little bit easier with the wind reduction. Um, you know, the only way I'm going to sneak in and win this is if my opponent here rolls it down the hill. But in any regard, you know, no big deal. Um, and as I said, you know, if I play that, uh, if I play this shot uh, a little bit less aggressive, then I'll easily, uh, I'll easily be able to. Uh, get the um, get the eagle at the very least you know I played that very aggressively I didn't I could have played around that rough but I played through it so here you can see you know I'll be well out of the qualification after these guys go and um, you know we'll we'll get you guys the shots so a couple revisions uh, tomorrow as well and um, you know overall, you know, everything, the, the technique that I use on holes one to nine is kind of what I recommend for this guide. Um, for, and what's nice about this setup is it really doesn't matter how good your driver is. Um, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, it's set up very fair. So um, you're going to be able to give yourself chances with, you know, very marginally challenging and, um, you know length drivers are so you know good luck there with this uh, tournament guys and be on the lookout for a few more updates to come